Molly, this is Team Panthers, so they're coming to film me preparing for the game. That was Luke's, that was Luke's retirement gift to me. Isn't that a good picture? But you ought to know this part I always look at for some reason. It's like there's like a woman, like angel, like in floating in the top. So she, it must have been a picture of someone on the Jumbotron. <laughs> so when they painted it, doesn't it look like there's like a woman like floating in the sky? It's amazing. It's, but it's how awesome is that? The way I've done at least the first few weeks is Monday. So I get back Sunday night after the game and... Monday, I kind of just take a day to do, you know, regroup, go to lunch, go to breakfast, take the kids to school, kind of just have a day. And then typically Tuesday after I take the kids to school, you know, I'll start watching the previous week's games of whatever my next two teams are. And now, like, it's twice as much, right? You're watching two teams' offenses, two teams' defenses. So it's, it's been pretty interesting, but I've enjoyed watching the offensive film. It was never something that I did a lot of, and... Um, I've enjoyed that part of it. So I'll typically pick a team on Tuesday and just worry about them. You know, so like this week, I did Panthers, offense, Panthers, defense, really got my thoughts together. Then, then Wednesday, I'll do the same thing with Dallas. And then, like today, I'll go back and I'll rewatch some of the film or some of the, you know, certain aspects of the games that I want to just refresh and get into more of like trends and schemes and play calling and what does Dan Quinn like doing on third down? And what does Joe Brady like doing with the personnel groups? And just a little more of like a deep dive. You know, so then tomorrow when I fly out, I'll print out my board. And then I can kind of watch the film, check my board, highlight stuff that, all right, I definitely have to say this. That's typically, you know, what I do here. And then on Saturday, we have like a pretty extensive production meeting with the, with the crew. Wake up Sunday and go. If I showed you behind that picture the amount of nail holes that are there because I'm a terrible picture hanger, every one of these pictures, I hang all my own pictures. Every single picture in here has been hung and rehung at least five times because it's either not centered, it's either too high or too low. Like I think originally you can see like where the marks were. I think for whatever reason I had hung this really low and then Kara came and was like, why are you putting the picture so low? She's like, you got to raise it. So then the problem is if I raise it too much, it exposes the holes behind it. So I need someone that's like really good at spackling. But yes, my middle name is Walter. Good story about this. Kara actually gave this to me as a present not too long ago. I never got my diploma from Miami because I had unpaid parking tickets. So I graduated, but I never was issued my diploma until I paid off all my parking violations that I accrued. So she finally paid them off with interest like 10, probably eight years after, ten, maybe 10 years after I graduated college and gave me my diploma as a gift. I never minded, you know, doing the press conference stuff. I never minded being at the podium. I never minded the open locker room. You know, I, I always felt comfortable being honest and being, putting some thought into describing what had happened, good or bad. Like, I, that was never something that I avoided. Um, you know, and I, and I never said oh, man, when I'm done, I'm going to call games. I, I got the opportunity a few years back. Um, you know, Fox brought me out. I was out in L.A. actually visiting Khalil. And um, they're like, hey, while you're out here, why don't you just come by the studio and do, a, and do an audition, you know, in the studio. And uh, I was like, all right, yeah. And it ended up being Burkhart who did my audition. He does most of their auditions. And um, I had known him because he called my high school games back when I was in high school in New Jersey. He was a college kid, just graduated college. And um, so I had known him and, and been around him. So long story short, I did that. Felt like it went well. Burkhardt had, you know, had some good feedback and whatnot. And then back in 17, they gave me a chance to call the Vikings. Special guest this week is Pro Bowl tight end Greg Olson of the Panthers on a bye week. So we stole him in the booth. And, and then um, in 2019, got to do another one, both on my bye week. And I was like, you know what, I've, I've kind of enjoyed this. You know, it's staying engaged in the game, you know, you kind of prepare like you're a player, except I don't have to worry about going out and doing it. I just have to worry about talking about it. And, uh, you know, kind of just one thing led to the other. And then I did the XFL stuff with Kevin, which was the first time I had done it in consecutive weeks. So I did five in a row. So that was a nice rep as far as just the week in, week out prep, as opposed to just doing one and then being over. So, you know, it was kind of a gradual organic process. And then this opportunity worked out where I could, you know, do this when I was done, and here we are. They gave this. We weren't in. We were in Seattle last year when we opened the Hardy Shard Cardiac Center at Levine. 
children, so we um, we weren't there in person. We did it in Zoom, but they gave us like you know the sledgehammer, groundbreaking type thing. So that was a pretty cool thing we got when we got back from from Seattle back in January. Somebody actually sent me these, and I just thought they were so funny. They came in like a three pack. I just think it's funny that like Cam has a towel wrapped around his head. I'm in a beanie, and Luke is just like Luke, like just. Straightforward, matter of fact, no flair. <laughs> it's awesome. But yeah, I was joking with you before. I felt like every time we'd have these cleats made, I like was always hurt. Like the last couple of years, I was hurt and never got to wear them. One year, Sir Per wore them, which was awesome. I don't remember. It was one of these two pairs. I don't remember which year was which, but Sir Per wore them the one year, which was awesome. You know, looking back, you know, that year obviously has a ton of fun games and memories and whatnot, but, you know, there was something cool about that game. Like, a lot of the families went the night before, Wednesday night in Dallas at the hotel. We did, like, a Thanksgiving dinner, and, you know, we wore the all-blue uniforms, and, like, right off the jump, I think Kurt had a pick six, and then at the end of the half, Luke had a pick six, and Cam, I know Cam scored. You know, it was just, like, a fun game. I think we won pretty handily. And, um, you know, there was a lot of buzz going into that game. We were undefeated. We were, what, 9 or 10 and 0. And everyone kind of thought, all right, the Panthers are going to come back down to earth. And that's the only time I ever played on Thanksgiving. So that was a really just like a fun memory from a fun year. Yeah. And then, uh, I, you know, these pictures that I put up here, I just wanted to make like a, well, not so much like on-field memories, but it's just like special moments that like I remembered, you know, and they did an awesome job with it, like walking with Tate as like a little baby. That's like one of my favorite pictures. Of course, the NFC Championship stuff, the Super Bowl stuff. That picture of me and my dad is when we won our first state championship in high school. Oh, and then one of the best ever was when we pounded the drum. So that was 2014. It was our first home playoff game. TJ had just gotten out of the hospital not too long ago, and um, they asked us if we wanted to bang the drum before the game. So that was awesome. That was really cool to be able to share that with him and before the playoff game, and we ended up winning the game, which was cool. Could you give a little TJ update? I know you. Yeah, TJ, to... TJ's doing awesome. He's yeah. uh, he's back in school. He's playing baseball, running around. Yeah, he's doing good. Mm -hmm. He's doing great. His energy is better than it's ever been. It gets to the point where at night we like joke. We're like, you need to go to bed now. Like you're driving us insane. It's eight o'clock. You've been bouncing off the walls since six thirty. You know, he's just he's a different kid now. And uh, it's as much as he drives us crazy, he's awesome. He's awesome. All right, here we go. We're going to watch the Panthers' defense just because. I'm really excited. When I saw on the, when the original schedule came out and I saw that I was going to call this game week four, I'm looking forward to getting out to Dallas and hopefully watching a good game and catching up with a lot of people that I haven't seen in a while. So it's going to be a fun time. I'm looking forward to it.